up guys and welcome back to Dad Jams. It's been probably close to a year since I posted the video and I apologize. Life got busy, work got busy, family got busy, stuff got busy. It was busy, but I'm back. I'm committed. We're going to be posting videos every single week. Ideally, probably two to three videos a week. Uh, this thing has grown a lot in my absence. Crazy. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. So please, if you're seeing this, hit that subscribe button below. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, tell your neighbor. Anyways, we're back guys. Dad Jams, just me, an old dad, reacting to videos from the 90s, from the 2000s, and even videos from today. I give them reaction, I give them a Dad Jam score, and we have a goddamn great time. So today, guys, we're doing Eminem Guilty Conscience. Now, I haven't done an Eminem video yet. We did the 50 Cent video, and that got a lot of views. A lot of people loved it, a lot of comments, a lot of engagement. So, we're doing an Eminem. This is one of my favorites. On YouTube, 55 million views, Guilty Conscience with Dre. This is the official music video that we're gonna watch. Uh, I remember it slightly, not fully, but it's gonna be great. So, let's get into it. Ah, yes. Starts off with a story, right? They all used to, they used to have these storylines. Meet Eddie, 23 years old. Fed up with life and the way things are going, he decides to rob a liquor store. <laughs> but on his way in, he has a sudden change of heart, and suddenly, his conscience comes into play. Guys, it's like, they're not like this anymore. They're telling a story. And I know I say this in all the other videos, people were making fun of me, well, all he talks about is things aren't the way they used to be. They're not, they're not, they're just not. So I will keep saying it, and I will say it all the time. Because these music videos, they mattered. You didn't get streams back then. You sold records. You needed people to love the music video to go buy the record. Anyways, I digress. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what Eddie does. All right, stop. Now before you walk in the door, the store and try to get money out the drawer, you better think of the consequence. Mm -hmm. I'm your mother conscience. That's nonsense. Go in, gap for the money, and run to one of your aunt's cribs. And borrow a damn dress, the one of a blonde wig. I'm telling you, need a place to stay. You'll be safe for days if you shave your legs with Renee's razor blades. Yeah, but. Right, guys? I love this. I fucking love this. You got one. You got the angel. You got the little devil, one on each shoulder. And the verses are going back and forth. Like, think how genius that is for Dre and M to create this song where they're going back at each other, trying to convince the person to go do something. One's telling them one angle, the other one's telling the good angle, evil angle, good, evil, good, evil. Who's gonna win? I don't know. Let's watch and find out. I mean, she just spilled her groceries. If you've ever spilled your groceries, you know you're not gonna be happy. It all goes through like it's supposed and he did to. it too. Knows you and they'll expose you. Think about it before you walk in the door first. Look at the store clerk, she's older than George Burns. Pump that, do that, hit that lick. Can you afford to blow this hit? Are you that rich? Why you can't? <laughs> By the way, for all you young people that might be watching this, this technology, you can clearly tell, was terrible nowadays. Back then, using a green screen to make them seem like they're in it while they're recording this uh, would be way better today. Way different. But at the time, this was the top of the technology. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Are you that chick? Do you really think she gets a you have kids? Man, don't do it. It's not worth it to risk it. Not over this slip. Drop the biscuit. Don't even listen to Slim, yo. It's bad for you. You know what, Dre? I don't God, like this. So young. These voices. These voices. Meet Stan. Stan. Age 21. After meeting Guys, and look back at all of Eminem's early stuff. He talks about Stan a lot. I don't know where that originated from. Do you guys know? How does Stan originate? Who knows the story with Stan? Why Stan? Alright, let's keep going. A young girl at a frat party. And who's that guy? Who's the announcer? In an upstairs rec room. It's like a chief Alex Trebek. Again, his conscience comes into play. Speaking of which, 
Is Alex Trebek still alive? Did he die? I think he died of cancer. The Jeopardy, uh, it's the Jeopardy guy, Alex Trebek, RIP. But if you're not RIP, then good to talk to you. Good to see you. Good, good to hear from you. Now listen to me while you're kissing a cheek and smearing a lipstick. Slip this in a drink. Now all you gotta do is nibble on this little chicken's earlobe. Yo, this girl's only 15 yeah, years Drano's. old. How could you take advantage of her? She passed out. It's easy. Just cut these lights out. That's how. Then pick this chicken up, get her off Brad's couch, and leave her on the front porch at her mom and dad's house. Man, ain't you ever seen that one movie, kids? No, but I seen the porno with son Doobie is. Also, a lot of you guys probably don't know this. When Eminem came out, I don't even know what year that was, 95, 96, I don't know. He was like nothing you'd ever seen before, nothing. Absolutely nothing, the way he rhymed, the way he rapped, what he rapped about. I mean, you had parents that would literally ban their kids from listening to him, would not allow their children to listen to him. I mean, the guy's a living legend. Who knew at the time when he came out but he's a living legend. All right, all right, I'm talking too much, let's go. Yes. You wanna get hard off the jail? Bump that, drop her off, ring the doorbell, and bell. I hear them when we go talk Meet Grady, a 29-year-old construction Oh, this part. After coming home from a hard day's work, he walks in the door of his trailer park home to find his wife in bed with another Bizarro man. Bizarro Alex Trebek. <laughs> Down. Relax, start breathing. Start breathing, man. You just caught your wife cheating. While you at work, she's with some dude trying to get off. Forget getting divorced. Cut this chicken's head off. Wait, what if there's a good explanation for this? What? She tripped, fell, landed on his. <laughs> all right, Shady. Maybe he's right, Grady. But think about the baby before you get all crazy. Okay, thought about it. Still wanna grab her, kick her out the house, get your daughter and kidnap her. That's what I did. Be smart. Don't be a retard. You gonna take advice from some. <laughs> that line, you're gonna take advice from somebody that slapped T-Boz. T-Boz was one of three women in TLC. They were the biggest R&B band in the world for a long time. This was before Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child was trying to copy TLC. Beyonce, you should thank them. You should thank them. Anyways, let's keep going. I don't know the story behind him slapping her. But apparently slapped her. Temper, Mr. Dre, Mr. and WA, Mr. AK, coming straight out of Compton, y'all better make way. How in the hell you gonna tell this man not to be violent? He don't need to go the same route that I went. Been there, done that. Oh, what am I saying? Do them both, Brady. Where's your gun at? And that's it. Guys. I mean, the song is fantastic. The beat is incredible. The back and forth between Dre and M, you just, it's not like it is today, right? This music coming out, nothing like this stuff was. There's a story. There's a video that accompanies the story. They made the video to make perfect sense. It's not just them dancing around with cars and drinks and, and girls and mansions. It's an actual story. Anyways. I loved it. I love it. It's a great video. It brings me back. Uh, I'm going to give this a Dad Jam score. 7.7. 7. Not my favorite, but very good, solid, great video, great song. That's it, guys. There's your Dad Jam score. I'll see you in the next video.